Welcome back. We are here with another day that is 13th of April is called Blessing. Now, what is love that can bind you to God, not just human beings? That kind of love, that kind of feeling which can bind you to God and all your peace and happiness and bliss can come pouring from Him infinitely. And you can reach the stage of meditation very easily. Or what we can say is you can become a constant yogi. So God here says, may you be a constant yogi and make true spiritual endeavor by having a true relationship in your heart. Until or unless you have a true relationship with anything or anybody, even if your job is there, even if your business is there, if you don't have a true relationship with your heart and you're doing it with your intellect, after some time you'll get tired. But when you're doing it with your heart, you'll be like a mother who never gets tired taking care of the child. Similarly over here, it's all about the feelings. Heart means not a physical heart, but feelings. God says, spiritual endeavor means to have powerful remembrance of the Father and have a true relationship in the heart with Him. Now, when are you true to somebody? When you have something which you can get from that person. That means if you say no, or if you say something wrong, if you're untrue and you're not truthful, automatically the relationship is breached and what you are receiving from the other end stops coming, right? Same thing goes over here. Spiritual endeavor means to have powerful remembrance of the Father and have a true relationship in the heart with Him. When you sit down to have yoga, you sit with concentration, right? We sit on a concentration, we sit down and we don't have any distractions, we don't think about any relations, any friends, mobile phone, nothing, not even TV. So we are sitting with concentration. In the same way, what says, keep your heart, that means your feelings, mind and intent. What does the mind do? It keeps on talking. So the mind can now keep on talking to God and intellect can keep on looking at him the way he looks, point of light, divine being. And the feelings are connected to him, with the father. This is true spiritual endeavor or known as sadhana. If there isn't such spiritual endeavor, in bracket sadhana, there is prayer, that is aradhana, that you pray for something, God please make me okay, God please give me money, then I'll meditate on you, God please take care of my kids, God please take care of my family members, then I'll be peaceful and then I can focus on you, I can concentrate on you. God says, no. Remove your heart from other things, connect your heart to me and then all the things will be taken care of through me via you. So God says, sometimes there is remembrance, that means we remember him and sometimes there are complaints. For yeah, God, this, is, this, this did not happen. If this would have happened, I would have been meditating. If this would have happened, I would be loving you more and please do this work for me, then I'll believe that you are there or you even exist. Some people even say that. That is Fariyad. In fact, there is no need for complaints in having remembrance. What can you complain about? Do you complain about anything else in relationships with human beings? Yes, you do. But here, there is no giving. Then what is there to complain? There is only getting. Only taking from him. Nothing to give. God says, those who have a relationship with the Father in their heart become constant yogis. Relationship with the father in their heart that means feelings become constant yogis yogis are those who meditate so your mind goes where your heart goes as simple as that your thoughts follow your heart if your thoughts are not following your heart you're not peaceful if your thoughts are not following your heart you're not blissful if your thoughts are not feeling or following your heart you're not content and that's what we learn how to bring them together coherence between heart and mind that means the thoughts do come over, learn this beautiful art of meditation from Brahma Kumaris, also known as Raj Yoga. Om Shanti, this.